Hi, Carl Hebert here with another video on Adobe Bridge. Today's video is going to be on keywording and what this is going to do is going to allow you to find your images when you acquire hundreds and thousands of images and you need to find specific ones. So let's get right to it. We're going to open up Adobe Bridge and we're going to go to a folder that has some images in it that we want to keyword. In this case, you might recognize my beavers up here in the rainbow from previous videos. Over here on the left hand side, you see we have filters. And what this does, it lets you sort your files by certain criteria. Well, we're going to focus on keywords. And if you notice, when we open this, we have 12 images with no keywords. Well, we want to change that. We want to add some keywords so these files are easier to track and find. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to go over here on the right and to this where it says metadata and keywords. Now this panel will just click on the keyword tab and you'll have these options pull up. Now Adobe already has some categories added and you can expand upon these and that's what we're going to show is how we can expand on these and add our own keywords to this. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to add a new main category and we're going to call it year. So let's add one. If you notice down here we have a little button that says new keyword. So let's click on that and we don't mind that it popped up here under event. I'll show you how you can move that. So we're going to go here and we're just going to type year. And then we're going to take that and we're just going to drag it out and let it go. And now that is considered a new main keyword. And we want to add a sub keyword to this. So we go down here and you'll notice that you get a little new sub keyword button. So we push that and it automatically adds a little sub keyword there. And we're going to go 2010. And we'll just add a couple more here real quick. Wow, that's some fast typing right there. What we're going to do is we're going to select some images that I know I took this year. So we got these four and then the two rainbows down here. And then I'm just going to check off 2010. And now you notice when I do that over here on the left under filter, you'll see that now we only have six images with no keywords. And now we have six that are labeled with 2010. Let's add some more descriptions to these. Uh, I also know that those same six images were taken in main. So I already added main up here with Acadia because they were also taken at Acadia National Park. So we'll check both of those and you'll see that they get added right over here. See how once you have these set up it's really fast and it's easy to add. So then you can start sorting your images faster. Now we do have a category called animals and what we want to do is we want to add a subcategory beaver. And it's the same thing. You go down, you click on new sub keyword, we type beaver and then we just click on the little checkbox. And now these four images will be labeled with beaver. All right, moving ahead. I have added a bunch of keywords to these images and now we want to use those keywords to sort or find our images on the hard drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how you can find the images and sort them out within the same folder that you're in. So here we are. We're looking here. You have a bunch of images here and we want to see just the beavers. So we're going to go over here and we're going to click on beaver. Everything will go away but just the beavers. And if you unclick on that we can pick flowers and only the flower images are going to show up. If you do more than one click, let's say you go flowers and Connecticut, you're going to have all flower images and all Connecticut images. And that goes for if you click on beaver. So you keep adding keywords and it's going to keep pulling up those images. Now, all right, we also want to be able to find these anywhere on the computer. So to do that, we're going to go up here. I'm going to click on Carl Dell and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to right click on beaver because I want to find all the beavers on my computer. And I'm going to go down to find and when I do that, this little find window is going to pop up. And you notice it's going to be looking in Carl Dell, the criteria is keywords, and it's going to contain the word beaver. And we've got the box, include all subfolders, and include non-index files. And notice that it's also matching any criteria. So if any of the criteria is met, it's going to find that. So let's see what happens. We click on find, and there's our beavers. That was quick and easy enough. Now let's do one more search so I can show you. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to look for beaver, but now we're going to add more criteria. So let's add another line and then you go down and we're going to do another keyword search and we're going to type in 2010. And when you do that, it's going to find all the files with beaver and all the files with 2010. Let's see what happens. There you go. You got all the beavers and you also got two more shots here that were taken in 2010. Now let's say you don't want the rainbows to come in, but you do want all the beavers from 2010. What you can do is a new search and instead of having it this match box say if any criteria are met, have it say instead if all criteria are met. That means it has to have the keyword beaver and it also has to have the word uh, 2010 in it. And when we do that, the trees go away. Now this is handy if you've been taking beaver shots, let's say for five years and you want to find the ones from a specific year or a specific location, it will make life so much easier once you get hundreds and hundreds of files on your computer and you're looking for specific images. Well, that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed the video. We do have other ones coming up soon. If there's anything in particular you're looking for, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day. <laughs>